Sudguru podcast. We have wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I was just interrupting you. We have someone, yes or no? We have someone of utmost prominence come on the show anytime that happens. We want to fucking nail it. We want to nail it. We want to nail it. And we did it. And, and well, hold on a second. No, we did it. Read the, the comments, bro. The comments are always slow right. Your always t- right. <laughs> 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 So much closer to never right. My, so much closer. My to mom never called right. me and she goes, "What the fuck did you guys talk about?" Okay, okay. So, so for, first of all, the e- the easy answer is we, we're out of our element. We're sitting outside on a ninety five degree LA element, day, bro. We weren't even on the on the charts. Let me get this out. We're getting absolutely drilled by mosquito after mosquito. I'm sweating. We've got we've got a, a crew of nine hundred. Um, you know, monks and yogis surrounding us that were uh, that I think wanted to hurt us at certain points, <laughs> and and we we try to put put on the show and we wanted to to approach it in the right way, but we always with respect. Always with respect. We immediately realized that it was just a really tough show. It was a really tough. It was very hard for me personally to ask the questions, and I know a lot of people out there saw me uh, being interrupted every time I wanted to ask a question. The first thing we noticed when we walked away was. It was strange that someone who is so open-minded and wants you to ask so many questions is such a stickler about semantics. Every single sentence I said, he stopped me. I would, I'm like, Mr. Sudguru, I want to ask. Ask is not the word you want to use here. <laughs> and I, I would go, okay, got it. <laughs> I would like to query you. A very specific, is it specific or do you believe that it is specific? And I'm like, okay, Mr. Sudbury, let's try this again. I believe the question I am about to query you. Believe or no? No, guys. Is very specific. And what it is, is how do you begin to begin (laughs) means there will one day be an end. Are you sure? Yes or no? And I'm like. No, but no, but and he, but you yeah, know, no, but what if he's right, Mike? And, but at what point? No, that's like, the point. No, it, no, no. Listen, I made this mistake because I may put on like a semi, you know, tough shell, but I can, I can get there. I can get to where Sad Guru is thinking. Sad Guru, Sad Guru. I can get there. Like I do like connecting with uh, my consciousness and being mindful and the, the idea of spirituality. Like it intrigues me. So that, that's why I had him on. But you guys, you know. Not to say no. you were less receptive, but like I, no, I, I, I received. I, I, Am I allowed to talk about this? Yeah. Am I allowed to talk about this? Yeah, but let me touch. Let me touch on that one point really quick too, and then and then go. No, into I'm gonna a, go spend a week with him, bro. I, I'm gonna go spend I, a week. I, and with I him. respect that. And let me let me say something really quick. There's a very big difference between mine and your ability to connect with Sudguru sitting, hearing him talk. And how I choose to present myself on the show to represent the audience. If sure, I was, sure. If I was sure. sitting with Sudguru, my first question, if I wasn't on a show, would not have been, yeah. how do you get the common man to be interested in your teachings? Yes. Which was where I was fucking going if he let me say anything. <laughs> That's what I was trying to ask him. How do you get... Everyone else who has a Verizon bill. Well, if you don't have a Verizon bill, you won't have to pay one. No, that's not what I'm fucking saying. (laughs) What I'm saying is there's people out there who have duties and jobs. How do you get them to be innately excited about your craft? Yeah. That wouldn't have been my first question. My first question would have been something else. Like, hey, man, how should I sit? Should I cross my... I don't like more... More conversation, more money. Yeah, you were representing the audience. I get it. Trying to. Uh, So here, listen... being on a podcast is, is, is very tricky for me because I've recently learned that I'm a very hard headed person and sometimes I don't I'm not I'm not good to voices and if you don't see from my point of view you have to be very, very damn convincing or it's I'm not gonna be convinced. So this is something I'm working on. The self awareness. I have to applaud you, Georgie. I Well, we had to crack his head open to get him there, but then he's finally... And I'm an egg, and I'm hatched, and I'm Mm -hmm. fucking... I'm I'm here, and I'm doing my shit. So here's the thing. I'm a Christian man, and I'll say this a billion times over, and this is how it's always going to be. If you stand in front of me, and you are a Muslim man, if you're a Jewish man, if you are a Buddhist man, and if you have your own beliefs and you're preaching them to me... Women too. What what do you mean? Women too. Women as well, just the men. Oh, I'm saying, talking about human, like yeah. just in general. Yep. You, you, you could be a baby. Now you're be, being sad, Guru. <laughs> well, this is important. A, a lot of women are going to be like, well, what about me? Oh, any, I do mean, you believe it's important or do you know it's important? 
Okay, go ahead, George. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I'm saying is I'm open to every single conversation possible, and I'm always going to be like, cool, that's your belief. This is my belief. I will never, ever, ever look somebody else in the eyes and be like, no, you're wrong. Because at the end of the day, I can't be like, yo, I can prove it. Jesus, come out. And Jesus is like, hey, guys, I've been gone, but I'm right here. <laughs> like, I can't do that. I can't snap my fingers. And Jesus is like, gotcha. You guys thought I was gone. I was right here the whole time. <laughs> it's not happening. This is my belief. I can't prove to you besides if I'm like, hey, live the way that I live. And if that works for you, then great. That works for you. But there were some things that this man said where I was like, no, no not even no. No, fuck no. No, you weren't fucking with it. I was not fucking with it yeah. because... There was a point that he's making, and I'm not going to uh, say this is what he said because I don't know exactly <laughs> where he was going. Mind you, he's not uh, he's not on a podcast every day to choose his words carefully. But he was, to me, indicating that at any point in your life, if you feel like it's okay for you to go, then it's okay for you to go. And so, like, I didn't want to, like, gently pump my brakes. I wanted to fucking slam that shit, pull the E, and look at him and be like, are, are you out of your mind? To say that in a time where there's so many people thinking about it's their time to go. No. And I will look at the camera here and look at the camera here. Wherever the fuck you're going to look at me. <laughs> do not. Do not go. Do not go. Times go. It's Life is like this. So if you feel like it's your time to go right now, I'm going to need you to listen to my ears. Please listen to my ears. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Listen to my words very carefully. With your ears. With your ears. Life is trouble. It's hard. It's so hard. And sometimes you want to just close your eyes and disappear. But I promise you there's going to be a time where you're looking at life. It could be a year from now. It could be 10 years from now. But you're going to take a deep breath and say, I'm so glad I'm breathing in this moment right now. Everybody has their own situations in life and it's tough. But never ever, not one circumstance could you bring to me will I be like, okay, you know what? You're right. It's time for you to go. Never. And I'm going to leave it at that because I get really fucking bothered about this shit. You're the third co-host on this podcast for a reason, Georgie. And it's a shame that during the podcast with Sud Guru, when you were feeling all this, you let your emotions and anger block your ability to express what you just said. Because I, I would have loved to hear his response. I, I, here's the thing. I, I'm new to this podcast. It's, but it's a conversation. Like my, That would have been a great my, topic one of, of my, conversation. One of my biggest weaknesses is when I'm angry. I'm shaking right now. When I'm angry, I, I don't know how to form sentences. Mm. I get so mad because mm. I'm a passionate man. Everything I do is 100%. There's so many times where I ask Bell if we're in an argument, like, please just go. Because I won't say things that are logical. Right. I, I, I just, so now that I'm on a podcast, I have to be aware. And it's funny because we talk about the comments and there's a lot of comments that are like dumb as shit and we read them or like this is dumb. But there's a lot of them that are angered and hated and then I read them and I'm like, ah, this is right. After we had our conversations, I read some and there's a lot of things that I need to change my perspective. So my promise is to everybody, like I'm, I'm not saying I'm not going to fuck up on this podcast. I definitely am. <laughs> In fact, probably record breaking amounts. But I probably will try my best not to do that. Well, that's a good place to start. We could all get behind that. Yeah. Okay, perfect. The, the, um, first of all, I love that message. Obviously, it's a message that is really important to me. You know, we, we talked about a girl who got a tattoo of a quote from my book, Take a Breath, You'll Get Through This. Life is a roller coaster. There's ups and downs. And, and so I'm 100% with you. The only, the only thing that was strange about his message that, I, that, was, that was different than normal people talking about that is he was talking about leaving on a win, leaving at the highest point of your life when you are so ecstatic, so happy with what, you, and by the way, I'm not, say, I'm not saying you're wrong, I'm just saying this was interesting. When you're so ecstatic, so happy, so fulfilled in your purpose that there is nothing left for you to do here. And, and so while you're 100% right, and I think even that is, I'm not, I don't agree with, but it, it's, very, it's very different than the way we usually hear people talk about the idea of taking one's life or suicide or whatever you want to call it. He's talking about being so happy with life that you leave at that point, ending on a dub. And also very straight, very, I know. And also, well, also I, I got to stick up for him for, for a second. I, and I told you this, I believe you misinterpreted him. Did you not remember the part where he said, imagine if you had to pick up this glass and you didn't want to hold it anymore and you had to live your whole life holding it. He was talking about dark times. 
and I and I rewatched it to make sure I wasn't wrong about so that. So what? So okay. So what I'm talking about is when we were talking about. So his, he's his talks wife. about two versions. Okay, got it, got his it. His wife was the high peak, right? And and that's. A, I don't want to bring but up his, his personal no, no, issues. His, his own. Well, he brought up two versions. One, if you're in a dark state, and one, if you're in an absolute light. State. I don't think so. He he his argument because. He we said, were, if you're we not were, comfortable, he goes, imagine you not being comfortable in your life. Is that fair for you to still be here? No, I, we were talking about heaven. And he said, heaven, if you believe that there's a better place on earth, why are you here now? Yeah, and then he, he mentioned he, three he, different heavens. Because he believes that earth, earth is heaven. Yeah, and then yeah, but that my redundant to, uh, my response to him was like, why don't you just bring heaven to earth? But regardless, at the end of the day, like I said, there's not one situation that you could bring to me where I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. You just won the lottery? Kill yourself. That doesn't work like that. You don't do that. I just don't know why you'd want to. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if LeBron I'm, if James I'm, wins his his series, breaks all of Michael Jordan records, goes home and kills him. I don't. I don't get it either. I don't. <laughs> I don't understand it. I just like fuck that. The, Listen, the issue. I, the oh issue God, to bless. Georgie and and then let's let's move on to uh, either Ti confirming that Drake got peed on or Kanye and Joe Rogan. You know the heavy stuff. Um, <laughs> we we are a we are a conversational podcast. And so when when people like him come on, like I pr I'll speak for myself. I did not prepare enough for that show. Mm -hmm. I'll speak for for just me. And yeah. I, I, you know, same, you guys same. Can, okay. absolutely same. Like I, I really didn't. And and here here's why we can we can shoot the shit on cultural on all these different things easily easily. And I still prepare more for Portnoy. I still prepared more for for uh, you know uh, Alex Jones whoever right. But when you have someone come on whose talking points are based in 20, 30, 40 years of theoretical thought processes and metaphysical thinking. There's, we just get there's levels to this shit. That, but that friend. but that's what I'm saying. And no 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 and I don't and I also is, no hold on hold on hold on. I don't, I don't wanna hold on, stop. we're a couple of young fucking dumb I, I, kids I, I, listening I, to no, a guru. No, the well, guy said the he was the first time school. I ever heard that feedback. The, 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 that was the, amazing. The guy said I was in class and I didn't hear the teacher and I and all I heard is yeah that's called ADHD. I had it too. I here's why I dis here's why I disagree with what he just said. We are all gurus in our own topics. If, if if he yes if he came on if he came Mike, on Mike, Mike if he came Mike. on and he wanted to have a conversation about beating addiction and the first steps on how to how to you know recover in your life I could be a guru on that topic if he wanted to talk about Pokemon cards we got the utmost guru in the world right here no no or, or one of them okay no, so I, humble so I so I have no idea I know what, whatever whatever <laughs> you know what I'm saying we've got a no, guru cause, no because I gotta respect the real gurus. We're going to have a couple on this show, by the way. A couple Pokemon gurus. Oh, let me know what day that is. Why? Because I'll be busy. <laughs> Anyways. Uh